everybody, it's Miss Dorothy. Welcome back to Goodnight Lighthouse. I'm here to read you another bedtime story, and I've got one of our favorites tonight, because tonight we're going to get back and find out what's happening with Little Critter. You remember Little Critter? We've read his books before. Well, tonight, Little Critter has a problem with his little sister that I think you're going to find interesting. Tonight's book is called Me Too. Me Too. Little Critter and his little sister keep having something going back and forth between them. And I think it has to do with little sister saying, me too, me too. This is going to be a fun book. You know what it's like when you have a little sister, little brother, or little friend who keeps saying, me too. Well, tonight we find out how little Critter handles that situation. Now remember, our little Critter books are all written by Mercer Mayer. What a great book he does when he does our little Critter great pictures. We sure do love these books. So it's time for us to get inside and find out what happens. Are you ready to visit Little Critter with me? I hope so. Sit up and listen up because here we go. When my little sister saw me riding my skateboard, she said, me too. Me too. She wants to do what Little Critter is doing. Then I had to help her ride. I had a paper airplane that I made by myself, but my little sister saw it and said, Me too! Me too! Then she threw it in a tree. Uh-oh, little critter doesn't look happy about that. I went hiking with my friends and my little sister said, Me too! Me too! I had to carry her because she got tired. Me too, me too. Wow, oh, Little Critter is a very good big brother, letting his sister do everything he does. When my little sister saw us playing football, she said, Me too, me too. Then we had to be too careful. They couldn't play rough anymore because she's just a little girl. When the snow fell, I got my sled and went to the top of the hill. Me too, she yelled up the hill. Guess what my little sister said. Me too. Yep, she wants to do everything her big brother does. I went skating on the pond. My little sister said, me too. She doesn't know how to skate, so I had to hold her up. Me too. There was one last piece of cake and my little sister said, Me too. I had to cut it in half, even though I saw it first. Poor little critter. When I went fishing, she said, Me too. And then she caught the biggest fish. She did catch a big fish. Look at that. I went to my secret tree house and my little sister said, Me too. Mom said I had to help her up. Everything I do, my little sister says, Me too. Uh oh, little critter's getting frustrated with his little sister. Today, my little sister had a candy cane of her very own. So I said, me too. Now he wants her to share. Guess what my little sister said? You too. And she shared her well, How do you like that? Little Critter kept getting followed by his little sister everywhere. She wanted to do everything with him. She wanted to do everything that he did. That's what little sisters and brothers do. But at the end, it seemed to work out because... When Little Sister had some candy, Little Critter said, Me too! And she shared her candy with her brother. That's very special. I love watching a brothers and sisters when they get along. I know your mom and dad love it when you get along with your brother and sister. You need to remember this story the next time your brother or sister or little friend or little cousin says, Me too! Me too! 
You remember how Little Critter was nice to his little sister, and then she was nice to him. This was a good book. I'm so glad we got to visit Little Critter again. But now, my little critter, it's time for you to jump into bed. We're all done playing and sharing and doing all our stuff for today. It's time to get some sleep. So Miss Dorothy needs you to crawl into bed and get ready for a good night's sleep. Now remember, Miss Dorothy has to find more books, and I need your help in knowing what books to get. You need to click on the link right down there, right below, and tell Miss Dorothy what book you want me to read. I'll go to the library, I'll see if I can find it, and then I'll call out your name and we'll read your book together. And be sure you have Mom and Dad subscribe to the channel. That way you'll always know when I'm going to read one of your books. But for now, book time is over. Miss Dorothy's got to get to bed. You've got to get to bed. We've got to end this day. But before we do, let's say a prayer together. I think we should be thankful for our brothers and sisters and cousins and friends. And we should thank God for them. Would you pray with Miss Dorothy? All right, fold your hands and close your eyes. Dear God, thank you so much for this special day you've given us. Thank you for our families and especially our brothers and our sisters and our cousins. Thank you that we have them to play with, that we have them to grow up with. Please watch over them and protect them and help us to learn to be nice to them and to share with them because that would make mom and dad happy. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, little critter, off to bed for you. Give mom and dad lots of hugs and kisses. Get a good night's sleep and come back and see Miss Dorothy. I'm going to be sitting in this red chair waiting to read a story to you. And until I see you again, remember, obey and obey right away. And I'll be back real soon. Bye. Bye.